Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is my sweet potato plant, and I'll just pop a, a little photograph up for you to view. As I actually dug my hand in there a few days ago and got two great big crackers. For the rest, I shall leave until such times the leaves fall off and uh, they will harvest the rest. Right, I'm just going to go over here a wee minute. There's stuff to harvest. Oh, flower coming out in the yucca. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Now, I have picked enough seeds for me, these plants, for next year, so all the rest, like this. I'll be getting cut down to stem and all and disposed of. Now that tomato plant was a bit of a surprise as it's come up in the same pot as my Cosmos seeds. So I must have thought at some point the tomato was not germinating. Therefore I popped in some Cosmos seeds and the same over this side. Except this side, it hasn't been, look at that, it's lovely, it has not been in fact a tomato plant, it has in fact been beautiful large cucumbers. Now they've only come up about four, three weeks, three weeks or four weeks, so they need to get harvested. I think there's two in there and there is plenty more. So it's very early in the morning, so I shall carry on with this video. Get that cucumber plant. And hopefully it warms up a little bit. And I will get some harvesting done. So I'll just lean over the fence here. And then here we have some Brussels sprouts. There's lovely heads coming on them. You know the wee tops, not beaten separately, not a too many cabbages. Then we have all the year round cauliflower and I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can zoom in. Over there we have some Savoy cabbage, which will be absolutely lovely jubbly come the winter. This is the newest wee bed and I bought these actually, I never grew these from seed. These are six plug plants of cabbage and six of kale because I love my kale and I did not for whatever reason get any this year and they were reduced, they were about half price for a pack of six each so I think I got 12 plants for about four euros which is fan doubly do it. I'll we'll just turn these round this way, we have some Touchon carrots, now they're meant to be a long variety but with the clay soil probably not but I don't mind a bit of forking it makes no difference you can not whack a wee fork on the table or a sheet on the bed this here is summer squash plants that have to be ripped out of the ground as they are done and by with now horseradish over there in the corner beside Alfred and then here is just a wee tiny pot with all sorts of bits and bobs. We've got some beetroot in here, Bolt Hardy, and we have some uh, calabries and some Brussels sprouts. Whether they come to anything, I do not know, but I'll still be eating the leaves. They were just extra before I went and bought the other plug plants. Right, over to this wee bed here where I have the day before yesterday taking taken the, the netting off and we have again all the year round cauliflower down here one two three I think I've got about four or five plants here yet again my Brussels sprouts they always tend to get to a certain size and then do no more 
it's been all limed, etc, etc, and they're infirm, and they've been well watered, so nothing else I can do about that, I'll have to wait and see. Now these were riddled with black fly a couple of months back there. This is our broccoli, which as you can see I have been taking heads off. So I put one of the fly traps in and it helped to some extent. And then I've got the dust, you know, the Dimentus or Dimertus, I can't remember how you pronounce it. The earth that you use for um, treating your chickens so that they don't get the mites. Put that all over every single plant and within half an hour they were all gone. Which was absolutely fantastic. Now you can also use talcum powder for the same effect and put basil in between all your plants or lavender also I have been taking the basil plants out and putting them up because it's been getting too cold out here for them so there we go guys that's where we're at at the minute Cosmos has made a late appearance as has the beautiful sunflowers that one and the one that I said has come out this morning there we go, let's go and see what we can harvest before I finish up. Hannibal, do you mind? Hmm? Do you mind? My plant pots? What are you doing? I have to keep your jumping about for your own channel. Hmm? The sun's now out, guys, which is great. Uh, but it's still quite early in the morning. Hence my Jimmy Jammies on. So. I've got to keep warm and wrapped up. So there we go, look at that. I think that's, is it market more? Do you know something? I'll have to look that up. Because, as I said, I had planted the seeds, or sown the seeds rather, uh, and nothing had come up. The only things that I got this year was like, quite large gherkins. Now this is brilliant at this time of the year. Let's see if we get any more. I'm sure there's a couple in here. There's one down there. Oh, there's another lovely one. Like a wee pump back wheel. I've always got to put the nature in. I've always got to put the nature in. I'm going to head down and get some tomatoes. I hope the sun isn't too strong there and it's picking up on the camera. As I keep saying, these ones, the big massive ones, are from the short bought ones uh, that Daniel took the slice off. And they've been absolutely fantastic, these tomatoes. I'll just get around the other side, guys. <laughs> So there's a tomato pick guys for today and I think I've got one cantaloupe melon left. We did have a three. I didn't think anything had come of it. And because of the cooler nights I did put a plastic covering on it. I'm hoping this is getting picked up. Let me see. But it should be ready. Oh there we are there. It should be ready, I would think, for harvesting. Now they might be small, but by God, the juice and the flavour out of these small cantaloupe melons are absolutely superb. So we'll be definitely growing these next year as well. Now, as you can see there, the yellow courgette plant is still fine, healthy, etc, etc, and putting out fruits. 
and we have another jack of all trades here and over here there's only one of these with a big fat S is the lesser spotted Hannibal. Ah, what are you looking at? I'm looking for Bambi. I don't see no Bambis. Another couple of days and I shall be lifting some celery as well for soup, I think. And the green beans, I think we've had, oh, let me see, about 13 or 14 loads for harvest. And I mean big, large amounts from those green beans. They are now over. So I'll just finish up guys, just show you, that's the Daniels tomatoes as I like to call them, enormous and beautiful. Excuse me, Hannibal, so there we go, I have to zoom in because the dog's on the way, but that's today's harvest, which looks very nice indeed. And that will bring me to the end of this little update. Oh, it's great the sun's back out, thank the Lord. So until the next one, guys, au revoir. Toodle pip. And bye-bye.